Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video on using wax coated wood chips in the wet fire stove. These were wood chips that I soaked in the wax, put them in a Petafor cup, and was using them in there. I got a bunch of really good comments from people. Catskill Mountain Girl commented, I wonder if you used hardwood chips if there'd be less soot. I don't think the soot came so much from the uh, wood chips. They act pretty much just like a wick in this. But I think it was from the wax. This wax is probably a petroleum base. What I want to try today is a the same thing, the same wood chips, but it's soaked in uh, soy wax, S-O-Y wax. I've been told, I haven't really played with it at all, but I've been told that soy wax doesn't smoke as much. It's kind of like goes back to if you have a candle, if the wick's too long, it smokes. If you cut the wick down, it doesn't smoke. So this stuff is just acting like a wick, but I think it's what's burning. So today I'm going to try soy wax. I also got a comment from Hammer357Mag where he said, you said 11 ounces. I believe you meant 11 grams. He's right. I missed that on the editing. <clears throat> I don't know if that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> I'm not a Graham Weenie guy, so I'm always thinking in ounces. But I've been trying to do uh, ounces and grams as well as Fahrenheit and centigrade because a lot of people have requested that. So I'm sorry about that. I'll try to watch it. Uh, WJF213 commented, Why not put aluminum foil under your pot so the foil soots up and not your pot? You can do that. That's one of the things we used to do back in the Boy Scouts. But I did a test some time back, and that does affect how fast it'll come to a boil. Plus, then you got this big sooty ball of aluminum foil that you got to worry about. But that's one idea. In the Boy Scouts, we also covered it with with uh, soap. That will reduce how fast it'll boil too. So for these tests, I'm just trying to give you the plain time. If I was out doing this out in the field. I probably use soap. Uh, WJF213 also asked, are those tea light candle aluminum cups about the same size as the mini cake papers? That's a pretty good idea putting it in. You could put the wood chips in something like this. I dug this out of the box with the soy wax. This was a, an old project I was going to try where it's a uh, buddy candle but it's a very small version. Never got around to finishing that but I guess you could fill this up with wood chips, just like this. Um, the Petafor cups taper, so it's a little bit smaller than the, the uh, tea light candle, so it could be put in there. But then again, you'd, if you're using it for a fire starter, you'd have a piece of aluminum foil that you'd have to dig out of the fire. Uh, one last comment real quick here. Mato New Pie said... Uh, what Hiram should do is remove the pot when the water boils to cut down on the soot. <clears throat> this You couldn't see it on the camera, but this was sooting up right from the get-go, just not as much as the uh, with the wet fire or the, the uh, Weber lighter cubes, but it was sooting right from the, the beginning. Now that would work though, taking it off the fire, if that's all you wanted to do was just get hot water. But this wouldn't be disinfected water if you took it off right away. I like to let it go for another minute. And then I have disinfected water usually. But you can see how shiny the bottom is from my, boy, it's almost like a mirror from my scrubbing. But uh, that is another thing you could do, take it off. But it was sitting up even before the end. So what I want to do today is do a test on this using soy wax, see if, how much this smokes. After I made this, I got to thinking, I packed this with uh, wood chips and then poured the soy over top. Um, I might be able to get away with using less wood chips and more wax if this doesn't soot up so bad. But uh, let's just see in this test how bad it soots. So let me get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a quick test. Okay, this is take two. I tried lighting this with matches, didn't do so hot. I guess I should have left more of the wood chips sticking out. I'm going to try with my propane lighter. 
my butane lighter rather. Boy, this stuff just does not want to light. I probably should have left some chips out, sticking out more. Hmm. This is surprising. Let's let this... I'll cut here, I'll let this get a little bit further along, and then I'll start up the test. Boy, this stuff is hard to light. It's been almost a minute now. This is what it's going at. Um, I don't know if anybody has any experience with soy wax. Let me know. Maybe I needed more fiber sticking up out of this thing. But my water's going up, so let me try starting this. Two cups of water sitting at 61 degrees. This is what the wax looked like. I got a package of this at... Uh, Goodwill a couple of years ago. Don't have the label for it, but it, it's I checked on it. It's soy wax. But let's see where this goes. We're now four minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 106 degrees. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of soot on this. I can't really tell in this light. I wish the camera would focus in a little bit better, but uh, for some reason it just doesn't like this configuration. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, the flame's just about ready to go out. The highest that this got was 189 degrees. Uh, not enough flame there to worry about it. Well, it looks like this was a bust. 189 for the highest. And <clears throat> I guess I can't believe that stuff about soy not sooting. It doesn't look like it's as bad, but It did indeed soot up. All that shiny is gone now. More scrubbing coming. So, I guess soy wax just isn't a good thing for this. It was had a heck of a time getting it to light. And, <clears throat> what was that, 14 minutes something? I'll have to look back. Uh, the temperature only got up to 189 degrees. So, not a good idea. Hmm. Okay, well, I thank those that made the comments on the other candles, on the other little fire starters. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.